Good morning and Kuzuzambola, respected principal, ma'am, vice principals, teachers, parents, and everyone present here today. First of all, I would like to congratulate all the award recipients for receiving the fruit of your hard work. This is not just a certificate, but it is a step closer to your success. Today I am here not to make any announcements or talk on any topics, but I am here to say goodbye to the dearest Mutitang family as your school captain. You entrusted me with the roles and responsibilities of a school captain. You believed in me that I would be a trustful leader. And when I am leaving school like this, I think you all deserve to know where I am going and why I am going. If I am sure that if it was others, uh, they would not have taken this step. But then being your school captain, it is your right to know about me. The person you choose is going and you are, it is your right to know about my whereabouts. So I got an op opportunity to pursue my higher secondary education, that is grade 11 and 12 at Prem Tinsula Dunda International School. It is one of the Asia's most prestigious school located at Chiang Mai in Thailand. Trust me, I had no plans to leave at all. I applied for it just that I just so that I don't regret later. Uh, I could have applied. Why didn't I apply? Just to avoid having that thought, I applied for it. And I even did my interviews very casually. I saw others preparing a lot, but then I was just there casually sitting, not even prepared well. And I never thought that I would get the scholarship and leave my school like this. Even until the last moment, I went with my father to the Department of School and Education Office to withdraw the scholarship. But then I realized that knocking off this opportunity would mean that I'm knocking off a change in my life for the better. That's why I took it. I'm very grateful to this school for making me who I am today. I was young, innocent, and unaware of the worldly matters before I came to this school. As I bid farewell to Mutitang, Paradise, I am filled with profound gratitude for the friendships forged, memories shared, and the lessons learned during my time here. The legacy of academic excellence with its rich cultural tapestry and the warmth of its leader, teachers, and staff will forever hold a special place in my heart. Dear Madam Principal, thank you for all the advices you gave, gave us. I still remember when you said, Come to, the speech, come to the stage, hold this mic, speak for a while. It will change your life. I remember you constantly telling that, and I believe that it was absolutely true. The day I came here and held this mic to give my cap captainship campaign speech, it totally changed my life. Dearest teachers, thank you for guiding throughout, supporting and encouraging me in every step, step I take. I will always walk on the values you taught me. More than anything, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to my fellow students. The way you supported me, trusted in me, believed in, believed in me, you all are the reason for my dream of becoming a school captain come true. And now I would like to apologize to each and every one of you for leaving you all in the middle of the year like this out of nowhere. I wanted to be your umbrella and make your stay in the school a bit more comfortable. I wanted to be your needle, making your voices heard by the administration. And I wanted to be someone to listen to your voices and be the change for good. I had so many plans, so many goals and aspirations I wanted to achieve in the next two years of my stay in the school, but we never know what life we holds for us. I learned a lesson that life takes you on journeys that you never prepared to go on. That is why always be prepared, because life never fails to surprise you. I might not be here physically, but remember that we are always connected digitally. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. You can get connected with me, and if you ever need someone to listen to, I'll be there. And, uh, but never know, sorry, we can always have a chit chat and be connected. I'll be there to hear your problems or your tales of happiness. A final message from my side would be, Mutidang is not just an ordinary school. It is a school of hope where you can learn so many things, improve yourself, and be a whole new person. 
It is a school where your ideas are supported and bring brought into reality, and a school which gives you several opportunities to shine. And it is in your hand whether to take that opportunity or to be who you are right now. Make best use of your stay here and it will change your life. I wish every one of you from this line, the class 10's line, to join me at Frame next year. You have got the opportunity, so take it and uh, work hard to be there. I will miss the days I walk through the hallways of this building with pride, with a captain's badge on my chest. I still have it, and I believe that today will be the last day I'm wearing this badge, and it's quite an emotional day <coughs> for me. I will miss how you I'll miss how you all used to call me Umbrella Girl as I walked by. I will miss each and every moment I spent in this school and forever cherish the memories that created an indelible mark on my heart. Thank you, Mutitang family, for making me, for bringing me where I am today. I will work hard with the thought that I have people to be grateful to, and the only way forward to thank them is by giving my best. Mutitam will always be in the corner of my heart. Lots and lots of love to each and every one of you and best wishes. This is your school captain, Sudiksha Subhiti, signing off for the last time. Thank you. <coughs>